another new product from Radial is a backing track switcher in a big blue box. Peter, tell me about this, well, this, this new product. Is, yes, this is the SW8. Um, this is a very, very popular product for professional touring, and we have to understand that today, bands are using backing tracks when they play live. So if you want to hear Bohemian Rhapsody, um, Queen would love to tour with 50 singers, but they don't. What they do is they use backing tracks. Uh, it's a revelation for some. Uh, but everyone today is using backing tracks. And it's the convenience, it's the cost advantage, and more importantly for the listening public, it allows them to hear the band the way the song was recorded. Mm. And today, bands make money by playing live. That is where the money is made. So um, they, they want to sell CDs at the show and T-shirts and everything else, but they want to put on a great performance. Mm -hmm. If the backing track fails, what happens, of course, is a problem. So what bands do is they, they pick up these SW8s and um, they allow two playback systems to be used simultaneously and then should a problem occur, one will automatically switch to the other. And that's done either manually or with a gate. And what a gate means is that I can have a test tone, such as a one kilohertz doo, type tone yeah. going into the box. And if that tone shuts off, the SW8 will recognize the problem, switch across. So here you have a gate Mm -hmm. to adjust the level. Then you have your AB switch for manual switching or automatic. You have XLR outs. These are going to feed the PA system. Mm -hmm. On the back side here, we have D sub inputs, A input, B, and the output. So mm -hmm. you also have TRS inputs and uh, a set, set A and a set B. So essentially, inputs here, inputs here, out here, out here. Mm -hmm automatically switch, away you go. You can link multiples of these together, you can remotely control it, and um, it basically does a very nice, simple job of managing um, switching. Uh, this is a new version of the SW8, because it's an updated version. We've added a few extra features on it, internal filters to get rid of uh, DC, DC offset problems that are caused by uh, uh, less than perfect recording systems. Mm -hmm. um, we have a standby function that enables an artist to, for example, talk to the audience, um, and then when they're ready, you can take the standby off, so this isn't looking to switch while maybe an extended conversation with the audience might occur. Right, yeah. And then we've added a mute function that enables the playback technician to mute the system so that the PA doesn't hear what he may be doing to, to um, queue up tracks or something backstage. Right. So is the switching done with relays or is it solid state? It's relays. What we what we do is we try to put the least amount of um, filtering or anything in between the original track and the output. We're, sure. We try to have the least effect yeah. bottom, uh, you know, ultimately. Um, in that way, the artist uh, or the playback technician can run virtually any kind of signal in and any kind of signal out. It's not limited. Okay, so we need to know the price and when it's available, please. Uh, this is now shipping. It retails for thirteen hundred dollars. Correct. So very popular, and, and again, maybe uh, you know only for the big touring acts. But uh, you'll also see these if you look carefully on The Voice, uh, American Idol. Uh, Cirque du Soleil, all these kinds of shows all use these yeah, backing absolutely. systems because that is the world we live in today. It is. Thank you very much, Peter. My pleasure.